Good morning, ESM. As you'll notice, I'm going on without Luke today, and that is because and only because he's taking a break. So today's show is all about me finding a new anchor partner. And who better to anchor with than myself? Hi, John with Sports. Why, hello, John with Sports. Uh, this just got weird. Yeah, I agree. Let's go to news. Man, Brandon Clark, 21, who was charged with killing Bianca Devon, 17, last summer in Utica and posting photos of her body online, pleaded guilty to second-degree murder yesterday. Clark told Oneida County Court judge that he thought about the, quote, terrible things he'd done to Bianca Devins every day. He initially pleaded not guilty to Devins' murder, but came to an agreement with the district attorney's office to dismiss a prison contraband charge against Clark, allegedly having sharpened a toothbrush while in custody. Prosecutors in Oneida County near Syracuse said Clark stabbed Devins to death after seeing her kiss another man hours earlier. A teen in Arlington, Texas, who defended a younger student from bullying, was later killed by the same bully just days later. 16-year-old Samuel Reynolds dealt with the bully, whose identity has not been released due to his young age. Four days after the initial incident, he was attacked with a handgun in his apartment complex. The suspect initially denied involvement, but was sent to ju juvenile detention after video footage forced him to confess. It is unknown yet whether the suspect will be charged as a child or an adult for murder. Spectrum will work with customers on getting a credit following a widespread outage this past weekend. Spectrum will only give customers credit on their monthly bill if they call and discuss the credit. The outage was said to have been caused by weather-related fiber damage to primary and redundant networks. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, we will be starting script writing for the variety show after school today in room B44. So come on down, share your ideas, and let's get this thing going. After today, we will be meeting on Tuesdays and Thursdays in B44 after school. Congratulations to ESM marching programs. After making finals and finishing in fifth place at the Winter Guard International Corning Regional last weekend, the ESM Varsity Winter Guard placed third at CNS High School on Saturday night. The ESM Percussion Ensemble won their first contest of the 2020 season at East Arundacoit High School. This Saturday, all of ESM's groups will perform here at the high school on Saturday at the 43rd Annual Spartan Spectacular. The show begins at 3 p.m. Are you looking for some community service hours over the break? Meals on Wheels needs extra help Monday through Friday. Next week, organizing meals from 1 to 3 p.m. For more information, contact Kate at 315-727-9532. Please remember the school store will be closed all week this week. All right. So do you have, do you think you have what it takes to get up here in front of a camera? A while back on Spartan News, they had a competition to see who could cut it. That year's winner was Bridget Green. Um, I have here with me Bridget Green. Congratulations on winning the morning show dream job con con contest. <laughs> oh, we're not the only, not, Amber, you're not the only shape for stuttering today. <laughs> Why did you decide to participate in the show? I want to be a star, of course. She has gone to work on a lot of shows in L.A., uh, including Two Broke Girls, Seven Seconds, and many more. So, uh, Andrew, no pressure. You did good, though. Uh, how do you feel about your first time on The Morning Show? Great. Great? All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on to weather now. All right. Today we'll have a few showers and a high of 38. There will be occasional snow with a low of 26. Wednesday we'll have a high of 37 with no rain or snow. There will be some sun with a low of 28. Thursday with some rain and snow with a high of 34. The low will be 5. Valentine's Day will have snow showers with a high of 16 and a low of negative 5. I'm Amber with your weather. Well, Andrew did pretty good, but now we have 
uh, Abby here to try out. Well, good job, Abby. That was already better than that short kid, Luke. Um, anyways, if you do want to join up on the morning show, you can stop into B14 or email us at WESM15Spartans at gmail.com. Oh, who, is that Chris? Chris, come on in here. What's up, dude? Have you ever had a dream that that you that you would um, that you? No, you it's could, okay, Abby. You you, you're good. You good job. No, you're okay. You're good. Oh. Good job. Good job, Abby. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Abby. Good job. Wait, so um, uh, hey, Chris. Are, you, are you taking anybody? Well, not just anybody, Chris, because. You know, a lot of people on the morning show already have anchoring experience, uh, yeah. so we're trying to get people that aren't already on the morning show to come in mm. and like try out stuff. So is that a no? Are we not a thing? I mean, I like I like the hat, and like that's cool. Yeah. Your sleeves are rolled down. Oh. Um, I mean, you speak pretty well on camera, but uh, it's gonna be a no for me, Chris. I I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, see ya. All right, Peace. now we're gonna go to sports. open during vacation from 9 to 11 a.m. on Tuesday and Thursday. In the event of any severe weather, cancellations will be made through the weight room remind account. See Coach, Coach Esch with any questions. The, X, the XFL began its first season this week and fans are very excited about the future of this league. There are a few differences between the XFL and the NFL, but some see the rule changes as a way to make the game faster and more competitive. You can see the rule differences at XFL.com. The Raptors beat the Timberwolves 137-126 to to improve their winning streak to 15 and improve to 40-14 and on the season. Pascal Siakam led the team with 34 points. With this winning streak, this put the team in second place in the East, only behind the Bucks. In upcoming games, the boys' basketball team plays Cortland tonight at 645, and the girls' basketball team plays at Cortland tonight at 645. Good luck to the basketball players tonight, and I'm Lino Sports. So I want to say thank you to Abby, Chris, and Andrew for trying out. Um, you guys all did great. That was good. Uh, Chris, like I said, you, it's, you're not going to make the cut, but I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, like I said before, if you do want to join the morning show, um, just email us at wesm15spartans at gmail.com. And for me and everyone here, have a great day.